Hey guys, as you saw my sort of my first video, this is the room I wanted to start in. Okay, it very soon rapidly drifted into the, the double bunk on the other side. Now the bulkheads are back in, uh, the bed sheet, uh, bed materials are back in. Um, I now want to try and get on and do actually concentrate on getting this room dug out, um, finish removing all the glues, residues, um, old poor repairs here. I'm going to grind this all back to the original material and do it on the outside afresh as it should be. Um, so I've made a half decent start here. I've made a good start but I've still got plenty more to go. Um, I'm not going to film while I'm doing it because when I get buzzing, grinding, everything I'm doing, it is going to get pretty thick with dust pretty quickly in here. Um, so A, you're not going to see anything, and B, I don't think you want to want to damage the camera. Even though I'm pretty sure these little uh, GoPros are bulletproof. Um, yeah. So I'm going to get set up now. I'll do some buzzing, some grinding, some. Whatever I've got to do is try and get all this stuff off and I shall turn back on in the moment, well in about half an hour, see how I'm progressing when the dust has settled down. Hey guys, so I've done what always happens to me, where I start getting on with something, I get distracted um, and then I, I do that instead. So the crack that was on my to-do list here I don't have an angle grind in my hand, I ended up, oh, I'll just chase it out a little bit. So I've chased it out, uh, so it's about five mil wide all the way down, um, about three, four mil deep. I mixed up a bit of epoxy, um, used some of the um, fibres and stuff to make it into a filler. Hopefully this one's a bit better after my, my last attempt at filling. Seems to be the right sort of consistency. Um, I've got some um, peel ply, which I've cut here. This is my first time at doing peel ply type business, so I'm going to chuck that on there. Um, wish me luck, because this is, like I say, this is my first time. We'll all get better at, um, well, I'll have no choice but to get better at this epoxying business. The amount I'm going to be doing. Guessing this stuff just pushes on. Okay, so I've got a lot of faith, it'll be fine. Got my little leak pot will go there for now, just in case. Um, with this last bit of uh, filler I've got left, I'm just going to dump in, in and around there and just get rid of it. So I'm going to turn the camera off now, dive in there, get messy and get some of this uh, filler put in there before it goes off. Oil, oh, um, right last video, uh, I've done that little bit of epoxy repair when I got ground out inside. Um, chucked that bit of epoxy into the, into the groove to see if it stopped the leak that's been happening here for a very long time. Also, I dug all this out because it's full of, well, almost like car filler. Um, 
and then as a quick fix I'll put some resin over it today if the weather holds out I'm gonna try and get some CSM um, fill this in, fill this in properly gel coat it um, you know get it back to a, a, so, a solid hull again um, so there's a bit of a bit of a pool there which I'm, I'm taking as a good sign it's holding holding water rather than letting it in let's just go and have a look kits there from come, come down a minute ago See how much water she's took on, if any. Oh, she's dry. Let's get this um get this peel ply off. Pretty content to um, give her a quick sand down, smooth her off, um, and then if the weather holds out outside today, I'll get that. Ugh, I'll get that hole filled in. Uh, I'll prep it. Um, if the weather doesn't hold out today, then it's going to be another week because it's it's set to be a horrible weekend. But I've got plenty to do in here. Um, Carry on scrubbing back, getting rid of all this old glue and whatever is in here. Um, I still need to resin in the bulkhead in the middle there. Uh, I need to look at some of this wiring, this old speaker wire and everything that's around. Um, yeah, get everything prepped, ready to get this thing sealed up, painted. Oh, he's making another window surround as well for this window. Um, but yeah, we're getting there. Hey guys, uh, been about two hours since I since I got here. Absolutely soaking um, with sweat that is. Um, I've got all these power tools. You know, I've got a orbital sander. This is quite handy. My little my little grinder. I'm not seeing my angle grinder. Um, and I've got various mouse and everything elsewhere all these electrical gizmos to try and make life easy um, the best tool that I've got is this probably cost like 99p from Wix and B&Q or something maybe even Wilco's for what I know um, so yeah so I'm slowly starting to chisel away I mean this is the sort of finish would be nice this has got imperfections. I mean, it's not going to be a. I don't expect it to look like some multi million pound perfection yacht. Uh, what I do want is something smooth ish, you know, no sharp edges. Um, normally, nothing is going to be hanging down and looking terrible like the stuff that was in it. Um, so, yeah, on a half decent, half decent surface. So, here, you know, there's some quite deep little imperfections and divots obviously I'm not going to do anything with that yet uh, when I'm ready to go I'll do the undercoat and that'll identify all the low bits then I'll get some um, thickened epoxy smooth it over or maybe even just fairing get some fairing in there flat it down um, top coat it the jobs are good one. so yeah get in there Still a lot to go, but we're getting there slowly. Hey guys, right, we're giving up inside. It's getting a bit warm, sun's out, out here, so I'm gonna exploit it. Um, just just ground out the, uh, the area here, just, just scuffed up the, the bit of resin that I brushed in there to stop any further leakage. Um, it's been sat there for blooming ages now, so I've scuffed her up. Uh, give it a wipe over of acetone. What I'm going to do now 
is I've cut a load of strips of CSM, just polyester resin, and I mix them up now, little strips here and there, and just build it up just below the surface, and then I can top coat it uh, next time we get a, get a half decent day. But I'm gonna do that now, so I'm gonna set the camera to a side, try not to get it covered in um, fiberglass.
Okay, gel cutting done earlier has gone off. Um, it's looking good. I just need to give it a good clean up. Uh, maybe this weekend we'll see the, the forecast isn't looking great. And it's uh, my wife Sam's birthday tomorrow. So I'll be doing birthday stuff either today or tomorrow, whatever day's nicest. Um, but I'll get this all cleaned up. Get some gel coat in there, or top coat, I'm using that gel coat. We'll bring that up level. And that'll be that job put to bed for now. Another leak fixed. Thank <laughs> you.